तो हेलो फ्रेंड्स इट्स बिन अ वाइल आई हैव अपलोडेड अ वीडियो सो टुडे आई विल व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल शो यू हाउ टू डेवलप अ बेसिकली अ क्वेरी टूल ऑन वेब जीआईएस सो यू कैन क्वेरी योर फीचर ऑन द वेब सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लास्ट वीडियो व्हाट आई हैव शोन यू आई हैव शोन यू हाउ टू डेवलप दिस काइंड ऑफ वेब पेज वेरी सिंपल वेब पेज हैविंग वेरी सिंपल टूल सच एज पेन मैप जूम इन जूम आउट zoom rec using rectangle and uh, max zoom max to extend measure length so these are the base some basic feature which i have shown you previously also get feature info so i'll give the link in the description of this video also so you have to go for the basic one first and this web web js we i am using the geo server for serving the special data and i am using the post js database for storing the shape files and i am using tomcat server also so i have uploaded all the videos related to this how to install this geo server post js tomcat and if you have installed everything then you can go for this video so now i will show you Uh, I'll refresh this page. This is my page. What I want to show you. This is the feature query panel. So I'll give you. I'll give the link. I'll give. I'll give you the link of this web page in the description. So you can download this and you can directly use this web page. If you have installed Geo Server, everything according to the video which I have uploaded previously. So directly you can use this web page. So all the layers inside the Geo Server, all the layers, whatever you have put in, whatever you have loaded the layers in the Geo Server will come, will show automatically here, and you can query any layer. Just what you have to do, you have to upload your layer in the Geo Server. You need to put Open Layer Geo XT and these APIs in place, and nothing you have to do. Directly you can get all these features inside web page. so you 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 must see my previous videos then only you will be able to understand how to do this so i'll show you the few of the capabilities what it can do basically suppose it 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 can do you can add any layer at any point of time suppose i want to add my district shape file uh click here add to map so it will add district shape file then suppose i want to query district shape file uh, okay i'll do oh, sorry uh, okay i'll i'll district shape file then it will give you the attributes or whatever attributes are there in the shape file suppose i select state name and there are the option of operator means greater than less than equal to like so suppose i like i select h so if i query what it will do it will try to fetch the features yes so these are the two haryana and himachal pradesh state start with the letter h so it have highlighted all the features you see so i am using wfs service of geo server wfs means web feature service so we'll the ms service you are seeing only the jpeg kind of thing image files okay but here you are fetching the actual feature information of the feature you see these are linked specially linked click here and here further one more step you can do even we can edit this feature edit you can edit this table here also i can edit this feature also shape of the feature that i will show you in the next video that i have all uh, i have developed that also so by clicking this it will clear all this thing uh, i'll try it on some earlier i do suppose mm that to me okay oh see this okay this i have deleted few of the features using that query uh, the editing tool that i will show you later on in later videos suppose i'll select us population mm, male 
greater than equal to search yeah this is in for okay but i have not given colors to this okay, i'll show you in some video i will upload some some other video also in that i can show you how to give colors to the shape file so this is very basic color i have given gray color otherwise you can further classify this color based on the rainfall deviation whatever it is so what i will, I will close this um, i'll select this shape file and i will select deviation rainfall deviation suppose greater than i'll say 40 for this so I'll shortly I'll explain again I, I, I have although I have explained this in the previous video also so I have used open layer these are the links for the open layer that you have to do so you have to give th these kind of links then ext.js and here geoxt path these all are the functions it is using so you have to write ext require all this geoxt function and these are the bounds, these are the layers which I am giving. Then these are the tools, pan, map, zoom in, zoom out. These all are the then measure area, measure length. Then then click uh, get feature info also we have here. Suppose if you click here and you click here, so you'll get the information about the feature. Okay. And then you have clear selection means uh, Clear selection will clear all the selections. Then map panel means this is the panel, map panel, this one rectangle, whatever it is. And this is the WFS capability which I, I was talking about. I'm using the WFS service of the Geo server. So it is accessing uh, using this you can access the uh, basically information about the feature, particular feature. And also there is a right you can anytime you can right click and remove any layer. So I can right click, remove layer, I can right click and zoom to layer extent, anything I can do. This is the base map which I'm fetching from the internet. Base map you can add Google layer also instead of OSM. So this is showing this thing. After that, this is tree. Tree basically is nothing like this is the tree layer. This is the legion panel. Then tree S yes. WMS grid. This is the WMS grid. This is the WMS grid means this one. This is the WMS grid which I have added. Yeah, this is the layer combo means this is the combo X combo for the layer. So I have defined here a combo box. And here I have given the store means WFS capability store. Somewhere in somewhere in this page I have so define this WFS capability store. So I'll show you where. Uh, I think yes, WFS capability score uh, store. So it is basically fetching all the WFS capability of the user server. So using this, if you give this link WFS capability store, so it will fetch list uh, fetch the list of all the layers in the user server. Then attribute store. Also, an attribute store means a particular layer. If I select, 
it will give you the attribute of particular layer so here what i have done you see i have the wfs service but here z is the dynamic layer name so whatever layer i am selecting in the combo it is taking that and putting it here and it's fetching the attribute for that particular layer the attribute combos attribute combo means the combo for the attribute then i will then i have created this combo for the operator this is the operator combo then finally i have given the query panel and in the query panel i have given layer combo attribute combo operator combo and text field where you will give the input and finally I have, I have defined the button query then it will fetch all these are the fetching the number of fields and everything layer name attribute operator name text value and also i have so if anyone want to load all the features anyone want to see the attributes of all the features then also one can do um, i'll show you um, suppose i have india state yes so just if i'll click load all feature so what it will do it will load all the attributes all the attributes attributes from some other okay I think my PC is hanging but not much I have suppose another layer such as Tanzania city is having a thing just single Tanzania roads okay so this layer is empty yeah state boundary must be there yeah so it is only one feature is there streams no this is also empty USA population yes yeah it have loaded all the features inside the inside the layer so if anybody want to see the see all the feature I okay I'll load this also okay let me see roads roads is also not there suppose I will, I will okay I will load this it will it will take time because this district layer is having so many feature now I think around 600 something feature so it will take some time to load it has loaded all the features all so you can select any of the feature here to select here select here you see so anybody want to see all the features you can use this so my machine is a bit of uh, actually it's not having that much ram that's why it is uh, it is taking a bit of a time i have msbd overall feature so it has loaded, loaded all the features so you can query and you can load all the features so this is the second function for that load all feature so finally this is the function i am calling and i am passing all the inputs field name number of fields field type player value attribute value I'm passing all the function and then somewhere below i have given yeah, this is the function select by attribute. Okay, I'll make it false first. So these are all the here I am generating a URL WFS URL fetching the features. Basically I am using the output format in JSON format. So using GeoServer you can generate JSON format like this. I'll show you some example here. Yeah, 
GeoJSON. So this is the format of GeoJSON like this. So this kind of URL we are, I am generating from GeoServer, uh, generating and then I am uh, uh, then I am fetching the result from the user server. So you see this localhost 8021 GeoServer w, services WFS feature type. Then I am giving the layer name from that drop down. Then filter I am putting attribute name operator name what is the attribute what is the operator greater than less than then name so it is giving the output after fil filtering the features according to the query so like this so these are the service see like this so this kind of data will come so if you copy this url and if you paste it on the browser and enter it so this kind of data will come like this just replace this filter and all this that so I am generating a store feature store then again a grid this this is the grid this is the grid I am create and I am adding this grid to south south means south side of the web page then another function for select all means when you load all the features so this is the basic page so i will give the uh, I, I will upload this web page on my google drive and i'll give the link in the description you can download and you can try this web page and in the next video what i will do i will show you how to edit this feature also after querying you can even edit those features if i want to show you how i created that i'll show in the later i'll show you that in the later like edit layer suppose you want to edit can directly add suppose here the option will come of delete create modify save this kind of output will come so those things i will show you in the next video not in this video That's it from this video. Okay, thank you.